Hi, I'm Donna from Mason Creations ETC. Thanks so much for joining me today. This is Christmas ornament number five in my six part series of do it yourself easy Christmas ornament ideas from those little wooden blanks you find in the craft stores. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of them. Let's jump into it. The first thing I did with this ornament was give the back side of it a coat of white paint. It had the year stamped on it and I didn't want to take the chance that that would show through the paper. So now I am using my Mod Podge and I'm going to glue this onto the decorative paper. This DIY ornament is the ever so popular red truck hauling the Christmas tree. It combines decoupage along with some air dry clay for a 3D effect. I'll be throwing in some glitter and rhinestones just for fun. I let the Mod Podge dry for a couple of hours and now I'm sanding around all of the edges to get a nice sharp line. adding a coat of clear glossy varnish and I'll let that sit for a few hours before I move on to the next step. Now that my first coat of gloss varnish is dry, I'm going to put a coat of crackle varnish on. The thicker that you put these two coats of paint on, the larger your cracks are going to be. If you put them on very thin, your cracks will be tiny. I'm going to take some white paint and just dab it around all of the edges of the back of this ornament so that it's going to look like snow. I'm taking some white paint that I've mixed very runny with a little bit of water and I'm going to tap two paintbrushes together and it will look like a snowstorm is happening. I'm going to make the top of this ornament look like it's got a metal hanger on it. I'm taking a paint called Black Flash. It has a black background and a gold shimmer to it. And I'm just dabbing it on so it will be lumpy and look like a piece of metal. I'm going to add some Gold Rush rub to the back of this ornament just a little bit in between all of the cars it'll get into the little cracks from the crackle varnish and antique it a little bit make it look a little old i'm going to make that snow sparkle on the back of this ornament i'm adding a little bit of mod podge all around where i put the white paint and then I'm going to sprinkle some glitter on it and just make it look sparkly. After I'm done putting all the glitter on this ornament, I'm going to give the back side of it a quick spray with a triple thick glaze just to make sure none of the sparkles fall off.
lining the front of the ornament now with some vintage white and then I will let that set for about an hour or so before I move on to the next step. I printed this cute picture of the red truck on Etsy and I am going to cut it out from the paper using water. This um, gives it a nice uneven edge and makes it look antique. You don't want to cut it a sharp cut with a pair of scissors. This is a water pen that I'm using. You fill it with water and then it's got a brush on the end. And once you get that line wet, you can pull it away from the rest of the paper and it leaves a nice, uneven little edge. I'm going to stain around the edges of this paper now using some brown ink. The little handle that I'm using has a piece of felt on it. And I'm just going to take that in a circular motion around the outside edges and it will make it look even more antique. I'm using Mod Podge to glue down the picture of the red truck to the front of my ornament. After I glue down the truck, I'm going to put a layer of the Mod Podge over top of my picture to secure it. I'm painting the front hanger now to look like it did on the back with the black flash paint again all lumpy so it looks like metal. Getting the poinsettias ready now, I'm going to glue a coffee stirrer on the back of each flower just so it has a handle and I can hold on to them while I'm doing what I need to do. I'm going to spread the petals open a little bit. Right now they're kind of all stuck together from packaging. And once I get them spread apart a little bit, I'm going to spray them with a triple thick glaze so that they're a little bit shiny and it actually enhances the color as well. I'm painting the front of this ornament with a thick coat of clear varnish and after that dries I'll be putting another coat of the crackle varnish on there very thick so that it dries with some nice big cracks in it. I put some gold rush rub on the front of this ornament earlier to make all the cracks stand out just like we did on the back of it. Now I'm painting some snow on the front.
I'm going to make the snow sparkle on the front of this ornament just like I did on the back adding some Mod Podge everywhere that I put white paint and then I'll be sprinkling some glitter. Now I'm mixing up the white paint with a little bit of water again to make it runny. And then I'm going to make a snowstorm on the front of this ornament. I'm making the little Christmas tree out of Delight Clay because it's very easy to work with and it dries very quickly. Once I release this from the mold, I'll set it on top of the ornament and cut part of the tree off to make it look like some of the tree is inside the bed of the truck and some of it is hanging over. The clay has dried now and I'm going to give this little tree a coat of green paint. I'm adding a little bit of snow to our little tree and then I'll add some glitter to it so it sparkles just like the rest of the snow on this ornament. Now I'm going to give the front side of this ornament a coat of the triple thick glaze as well. I'm going to add all of the final embellishments on this ornament now. I'm putting a gold trim around the entire edge and then I'll add two pretty little poinsettias, a red one and a white one and a little piece of greenery. some little edges sticking up from the trim on both the front and the back side and I'm gluing those down.
I'm adding two little rhinestones where the headlights are to make it look like the lights are on. If you're enjoying this video, please hit that thumbs up button and give me a like. There's going to be one more ornament in this series, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it.